Hey there, so today we have another review. This is courtesy of Jeremiah from Hot Butcher for the World, so thank you so much. And this is Medusa, oh sorry, this is Cliffix, at least that's how I can clip. Uh, HX, Cliffix. Uh, Medusa, Eldorado, Zappa, HBC 692, HBC uh, 586. So two experimental hops, Medusa and Zappa, I think are pretty new. Is Medusa, is Medusa Europe or uh, English? Yeah, I think Medusa might be English um, new hot bridal. Eldorado and Zappa are new. Um, yeah, quite nice. Uh, 6.75%. And actually, so this one is not that hazy at all. Uh, this one comes in a medium deep gold color, medium gold color, I'd say. Barely any haze on that. It's actually like, a, or at least for like hazies from what I expect from them. Uh, it comes with a medium haze. Actually, like you can clearly see like, like a finger through that. Like it just, like there's opacity there. I can have this. I can see the treehouse symbol through it, so. Um, uh, let's not even call it ourselves with tasting notes. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's wine grapey. It's um, gummy bears. It's uh, peach rings. It's um, gooseberry, gooseberry and white grape. So it's very. Oh, you know what? This is the fun uh, blueberry-ish part of mosaic, which is not in spare. And then also that kind of like grapey thing that uh, Nelson offers. This is a fun combo. Yeah. So this beer smells purple. It smells like uh, not only white grapes, but like purple grapes, like like uh, uh, um, kind of like wine grapes or Concord grapes. And also smells like, like, what is that? It's it, it, It's got this like candied sweetness, kind of like really fun. You know what, it's, it's purple candy. It's freaking like, you know, a blue lollipop, uh, purple lollipop. It's, it's, it's grape flavored. A straight purple grape flavor, a little bit of prune. That's crazy. That's fun as hell. Mm. Oh, that's fun. So this reminds me of some of the some really delicious. Uh, what was it? I want to say it was a Nelson based and or Motueka IPA that Grim did that was just all purple candy, right? Like again, we tried to like compartment. Uh, comp compartmentalize fruits and colors and flavors and all that stuff and you know sometimes you go yellow sometimes you go orange sometimes you go red here i'm getting purple and it's like purple candies for days it has this kind of like um uh what are those sour ropes whatever you call them like the sour like you know sugar ropes um it's got purple flavor it's got some tartness to it a little bit of hint of dank to it i wish there's more bitterness here this beer would do great with bitterness, playing in that like hoppy hoppy realm with some like actual like danky kind of like bitterness here. I think that'd be great complimentary. Instead, it's just mostly candied. Um, the malt profile, oh, that's the other beer it reminds me of. It's not only grim. This is very, 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 very much tastes like uh, bright, uh, Treehouse Bright. This, that's what I'm tasting. I'll take back on the grim reference. This tastes like bright. It's like a modern uh, double IPA. It has like a pullback sweetness, but not completely hazy. It's all purple flavors for days. I mean, what do they say? Uh, juicy guava. Mm, guava I find a little bit more tart, so not quite. Uh, sweet pine. Yeah, there's a piney element to here. Tropical melody. Yeah, see, the tropical melody for me leans more towards orange and yellow. This is purple. This is grape drink. Grape drink, a little bit of sweet pine in there, but I want some bitter too. It's quite nice, a very delicious beer. Super clean, uh, doesn't have that chewy chewy. They definitely have a different water profile and or uh, malt bill on this one. So uh, clearly it's darker beer, but like it's definitely just not as hazy. So uh, they also might have changed the yeast strain on them ones. Quite possible that they're switching up the yeast strain and like offering this kind of cleaner um, fermentation on the beer, right? Um, this for me gets a solid 96. Oh, it is delicious. Freaking love it, super drinkable. Um, I think it'd be super, super killer if it was like more West Coasty. I, I th really think they could play those flavors in this beer. Um, but until next time, guys, cheers. Thank you so much, Jeremiah from Hot Butcher for the World. Awesome stuff. Killer beer so far. Until next time, guys, cheers. Later.